Anytime you get bad news, be resilient. Learn how to bounce back. Worrying about something that's out of your control, what is that gonna do for you? Always look for the positives in anything. April of 2017, I was getting ready to leave Korea for the second time. I had just passed my physical because in the military, you have to make sure that you're physically fit before you can get assignment to your next base. I was going home for 30 days before I was going to Italy. I got home to Mississippi. Two or three days later, I started noticing that I had a little growth right here on my neck. About two and a half weeks later, I had a growth in my left groin area, the size of a softball. And I was like, this ain't right. 36 years old, had never been sick in my life. Found out I had cancer, I was like, wow, this is it's shocking. My son was about 20 months at the time. That was the biggest motivation for me. There's no way I'm gonna let this disease get the best of me and not be here to raise him and see him grow up. After I received six rounds of chemo, I did go into remission. I started noticing like a numbing sensation right here on the right side of my face. As time went on, it started getting worse to the point where like I couldn't even go to work anymore. I was at home every day. If I went into bed, I was on the couch. I could barely eat, I could barely open my mouth, and I was like, something's going on. My lymphoma had relapsed, and this time it came back as a tumor on my right trigeminal nerve. The second time it hit me a lot harder. I wasn't expecting it to come back. The doctor that treated me the first time was still there, so he was already familiar with my case. And that's when he told me about CAR-T. What did I have to lose? They signed me up. It was 350 people that were accepted. I was 350. He was a patient who had a very aggressive presentation of lymphoma. Being able to offer CAR-T therapy was a welcome opportunity, a godsend for him. Dr. Rappaport, from the time I met like a true professional, I can trust him, I knew I was in good hands. The first PET-CT scan that we did after treatment showed a dramatic response, and all the subsequent scans have shown continuing complete remission with no signs of any lymphoma persistence or progression. The time that I have with my son, I'll never get that time back. I spend every moment that I can with him because I'm like, oh, look, this is life is precious, and tomorrow's not promised. I have one son. He's going to get all of me. I'm like, forever grateful for CAR-T.